The trend recently, whether with Lenovo or Samsung, has been towards the simplification of the Android user experience. Manufacturers have been removing or winding down their custom-heavy interfaces, mostly to the benefit of the consumer. Acer has clearly received the memo, with the interface relatively stripped down compared to what it shipped its devices with in recent years. Users are presented with a mostly stock version of Android 7.0 Nougat, minus an app drawer and with an omnipresent, non-removable, iconeo button on the bottom shell. When pressed, this leads to a suite of Acer apps which are universally rubbish and can be safely ignored. The tablet also comes with its fair share of bumps installed, various apps from Microsoft, the whole Google ecosystem, Pocket and Final Fantasy XV, a new empire among others clog the system. Luckily most of these can be promptly uninstalled without a second thought. This light layer of customization allows for a mostly fluid user experience. Scrolling through the interface, swiping between screens and the like never presents any unforgivable lag. More importantly, during the testing period there were no app hiccups, which points to the UI being well optimized on the back end too. One thing to note is, as with many other manufacturers, there is no guarantee as to whether this device will be updated to future versions of Android. Whether this matters to you is something else altogether, but it may prove to be a black mark for some. With all of the apps that Acer sought to include however, the omission of a dedicated gallery app is somewhat jarring, as the inbuilt Google Photos doesn't allow for some simple options such as sharing two apps it doesn't support. This can be promptly amended by a trip to the Play Store, but is odd nonetheless.